Progit is a self-hosted cross-platform package and container repository designed to keep all of your packages and Docker containers in one place. It can also scan for vulnerabilities, provide feed access control, and supports a range of third-party packages like Nougat, NPM, PowerShell, and Chocolatey. In this video, we'll look at setting up Progit for the first time. We'll start by covering setting up your first feed, and also look at setting up Progit as a Nougat package manager in Visual Studio. All right, let's start by creating your first feed in Progit. As a quick introduction, a feed in Progit is like a private repository for your applications and components used to store packages, container images, or other assets. In this example, we'll create a NuGet feed. However, you have the option of creating feeds for other feed types, such as NPM, Python, and so on. We'll start by navigating to feeds and creating a new feed. As we'll be using packages from NuGet.org, we'll select NuGet packages. Now we'll set the feed to connect directly to nougat.org, which is the public repository for open source nougat packages. When you're more familiar with Progit, you may want to create two feeds for unapproved and approved packages, but just for the purpose of demonstration here, we'll create just the one. We'll now name the feed. Uh, in this case, we'll call it public nougat, as it will have public packages from nougat.org. And then create the feed. Progit will now offer several options to assist you in managing your feeds, such as scanning packages for vulnerabilities to help you avoid packages unsafe for production use, and license detection, which will allow you to block certain licenses. As all of these are important to us, we'll keep them selected and set them. Now we can see our public Nougat feed and that it's been populated with packages from Nougat.org. All right, now that you've created your feed, you can use other Progit features, such as license detection or vulnerability scanning. You can also connect Progit to Visual Studio as a package manager, which we're going to do right now. Before heading over to Visual Studio, we'll just need to grab our API endpoint URL, which you can find at the top over here. Okay, now let's switch over to Visual Studio. First, we go to Tools, Nougat Package Manager, and Package Manager Settings. Now we'll need to disable Nougat.org, as we'll be changing the source to the feed we created. This will make sure that Visual Studio doesn't scan Nougat.org, which is going to help us avoid problems such as bad licenses, vulnerable packages, and uh, dependency confusion, which can happen when using multiple sources. All right, so let's set up our Nougat feed as a new package source. First, click over here, and then give our source a name. Let's just call it ProGit. And now paste our API endpoint URL, and update these settings. You'll need to make sure that you click update first or the configuration won't be saved. Finally, we'll confirm the connection by going over to a project we've already set up and selecting manage NuGet packages from here. And if we look over here, we can see that it's populated with the packages from our feed. And that's it. Good job on creating your first feed with ProGit.